What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney, and over the last few months, we have seen millions of people lose billions of dollars after trusting centralized exchanges with their hard-earned crypto. The collapse of top centralized exchanges like Voyager, Celsius, Gemini's Genesis, and most notably FTX have left people devastated. Sure, some of the more popular exchanges like Binance and Coinbase, Crypto.com and Kraken are still around, but what happens when they go under? Right now, currently, there are no insurances for cryptocurrencies that are lost on centralized exchanges. In fact, when a cryptocurrency exchange goes under and files for bankruptcy, the customer is usually the last person to be reimbursed, and they usually only get reimbursed for pennies on the dollar. Now, how backwards is that? So what is my solution? Get off centralized exchanges and truly protect your crypto with a cold storage offline wallet. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to set up a ledger. We are going to start with purchasing the ledger, unboxing the ledger, and then setting up your ledger with the Ledger Live software, and then send some crypto from a centralized exchange to your new cold storage wallet. There will be timestamps in the description down below, so feel free to skip ahead. For this example, I'm going to be using a Ledger Nano S. For my personal use, I actually like using a Ledger Nano X, but the S is about half the price and will take care of most of the regular Joe's cryptocurrency needs. Now the setup is virtually identical, but if you want more variety, I would go with the Ledger Nano X. It's more compatible with different devices and it has Bluetooth capabilities. But times are hard right now, so that's why I chose to go with the Ledger Nano S. All right, so let's get started. So let's talk about purchasing your Ledger. This is very, very important. Only purchase your Ledger from the official Ledger website or a trusted big box store. Do not use third-party websites like eBay. You do not want to buy a use or compromise Ledger device. As you can see in this video, I went to my local Best Buy to purchase my Ledger Nano X. Now, a side note is that when merchandise is returned to some of these big box stores, items are returned to the sales floor. And like I said before, you do not want to buy a use or compromise ledger device. The safest bet is just to buy from the official ledger website. I've purchased multiple ledgers from the official website. It comes in secure packaging so that you can easily tell if the ledger has been tampered with. I will include a link to the official website in the description of this video. But for extra safety precautions, there is a tool in the Ledger Live program that scans your ledger to make sure that it's actually authentic. And of course, we'll be using that on our brand new Ledger Nano S that we purchased from our local big box store. All right, so unboxing. Now, first I'm going to check for tampering with the packaging, and it looks like this one is good to go. So once I remove the cellophane, I'm going to slide the black part out of the cover. Then it opens kind of like a shoe box. I actually like the way that Ledger packages their products, so kudos to you guys. Uh, the products don't feel cheap. They actually feel like sturdy. Uh, remember to trust yourself, not your keys, not your crypto. I like that little uh, opening. And the Ledger itself looks like a flash drive with a screen. Easy and convenient to carry around with you. So these are the recovery sheets, uh, and these are where you're gonna need to write down your seed phrases. Use all three sheets to write down your seed phrases. Don't keep them all in one place, spread them around. This is the only way you're gonna be able to recover your crypto in the event that you lose your ledger. Then they give you a little pamphlet that gives you directions on how to get started with the Ledger Live program, and of course, we're gonna be covering that in this video, so you don't really need to read this if you're following along. Behind this little uh, wall, you're going to find a cool little keychain accessory loop to put on your ledger device along with a USB connection that goes into your ledger like so and then plugs into your computer. All right, now that we're done unboxing, we're going to go ahead and go to our computer, go to a web browser and go to ledger.com slash start. Once we're to the official Ledger website, we can go ahead and download Ledger Live. And this is going to be the interface you're going to be using to view your cryptocurrency, trade, and all those fun things. We're going to go ahead and go to download, and you're going to pick your operating system, and mine is Windows. Now, once you click that, it's going to go to your downloads. You're gonna go ahead and click that and then install it onto your computer. Now, once you finish installing the program, it should look like this on your desktop, Ledger Live. 
once we open up the Ledger Live app, it's going to bring us to this screen. We're going to select our Ledger device, and for this example, we have the Ledger Nano S Plus. But don't worry, the process is virtually identical for each Ledger. Now it's going to ask us if it's our first time using the Ledger or are we using a recovery phrase. Now this is where you would enter your 24 word seed phrase into a new Ledger device if you misplace an older one. That's why it's so important to write down and safeguard your seed phrases. All right, so let's get started and set up our new Nano S Plus by clicking this arrow. It's going to bring us to this little page, which pretty much goes over all the basics of having a ledger. You can access your crypto. You can own your own private key, right? That's the importance of having it. You stay offline, which is the difference between like a MetaMask account or a trust wallet or something like that. You can validate transactions. And now let's get started. So the best way to get started is to plan 30 minutes and take your time, grab a pen to write with, stay alone and choose a safe and quiet environment. Now you wanna make sure you focus so you write down the correct seed phrases. Let's go. All right, so let's get started. So the way you turn on your Ledger Nano S is plugging it into your computer with the USB cable. Once that's all plugged up, you're gonna go ahead and browse around a little bit, learn how to use the buttons, just two buttons, one goes left, one goes right, and pressing them together is like pressing select. Next, we're going to need to set up new device and enter a four to eight digit pin. Now pick that pin. I like to use four digits, easy to remember, but make sure you remember. Next, you're gonna want to write down your recovery phrase. Now it comes with three booklets. Use all three booklets. Make sure you write them down correctly. Put them in a safe, do what you have to do, distribute them everywhere, but make sure you write them down just in case you lose your ledger. Now that my recovery phrases are all written down, I have to re-enter them into the ledger. Yes, it's tedious, but it's it's extremely necessary to make sure you got it right. And now it's gonna go ahead and go through a prompt that pretty much tells you like, hey, you need to make sure you safeguard your recovery phrase, hide it, keep it safe. Ledger does not keep track of what your seed phrases are. There's no customer service for that. Now we can get started. Now there's a little quiz here you can take. Not for me, but if you're into that sort of thing, you could definitely take that quiz. Now this next part is super important and you do not want to skip this step. This is going to check the authenticity of your ledger just to make sure you didn't accidentally buy a used ledger device. This is the genuine check process. So once you get to this screen, just go down here to check my nano, click it. Your device should be connected, but you may have to unlock it again because sometimes it goes to sleep on you. So once you enter in your four digit pin or eight digit pin, whatever you picked, and as you can see, very quick, simple, and it looks like this ledger is all good to go. Now let's continue. Now once you're inside the Ledger Live app, it's going to look something like this. As you can see, this is the portfolio portion. I have it blocked out for obvious reasons. Then you go down and click this little tab right here. Here's the market tab. So it pretty much tells you how everything's doing uh, right now in the market. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, BNB are big time cryptocurrencies. And these are your accounts. So these are the different accounts you can add to your ledger, like an Ethereum account, a Bitcoin account, a Cardano, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and many, many more. You can go to Discover. There's all sorts of different ledger apps that you can use for your ledger. You can, of course, send crypto. You can receive crypto. There's a market where you can buy and sell crypto. You could, of course, swap your crypto. They have a tab here for a ledger card if you're in to that sort of thing probably acts like some sort of debit card and then of course we have my ledger and this is where we're going to need to go in order to get the applications the accounts the proper applications on our ledger and i'm going to show you how to do that real quick with just bitcoin and ethereum all right so to send actual crypto to your ledger you're going to need to install different apps on your ledger device i'm going to be doing bitcoin and ethereum for this example all i have to do is press install and then what it'll do is automatically install into your ledger device as you can see right here, it'll just load right there. Sometimes you need to approve it if the ledger went to sleep, but in this case, it didn't go to sleep. Same process for the Ethereum app. Go ahead and install that right there, and you'll see a little loading screen on your ledger. Okay, so for this next example, I'm going to be sending cryptocurrency from my centralized exchange to my ledger cold storage wallet. Now, this example is going to be Coinbase, but the process is exactly the same for every other exchange, so don't freak out. I'm also going to be using my orange Ledger Nano X. 
just to give you guys a different perspective. Don't freak out, it's the same process. The buttons are in just different spots. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so now we're gonna to go to the receive tab. And once we click that, it's going to ask for the account, which is the network. We're gonna be picking Ethereum for this network. Be very careful. Now we have to approve the Ethereum app on our ledger. Super easy to do. Then it's going to generate the Ethereum address. Just verify it on your ledger and make sure it matches. And in this case, it does. So once we're good to go there, we're gonna to go to copy that address and paste it into whatever centralized exchange we have and go ahead and send it to our ledger and it should pop up in the portfolio part of your ledger live application. Super easy to do. Sending crypto out of your ledger is done the exact same way, except you'll have to approve every single transaction on the actual ledger device. That's the beauty of having a ledger, the ultimate security. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Drop a like if this video helped you and subscribe if you really like the content. I usually cover all crypto news on my morning show, Coffee and Crypto, Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But if you like these educational videos, I can keep them coming. Let me know what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, not your keys, not your crypto. Peace.